for five minutes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Chair. Ms. Wilford, where I left off uh, in my first round of questioning was uh, dispelling and uh, highlighting the uh, disinformation and misinformation being uh, spread by the Liberal government, the Prime Minister, uh, the uh, ministers associated in higher positions involving in this convoy, as well as our state-sponsored uh, CBC. Before I move on, I also want to highlight a comment that our Prime Minister made to our House of Commons on February the 9th, that pro protest funds were linked to crime. We are working very hard with partners at different levels of government to make sure that the flow of funds through criminal activities is intercepted. You would agree with me, ma'am, that uh, my review of all the evidence that you have given so far uh, by way of uh, finance, finance Committee as well as the interview uh, with the Public Order Emergency Commission, there is no evidence that any of the funds originating to your platform were proceeds of crime. Thank you for the question. That is correct. And uh, I understand that your platform, your crowdfunding platform, is the largest in the world. Is that correct? Thank you for the question. Yes, that is correct. And by its very nature, I've done a little bit of research. You'd agree with me that uh, you are not politically aligned with any particular government in the world or ideology. Is that correct? Thank you for the question. Yes, that is correct. We are an open, nonpartisan platform. Okay as well as you are not aligned with any particular religious cause. Is that correct? Thank you for the question. Yes, that is correct. Okay. How will you then respond to the suggestion of bias? And I appreciate that Mr. Benitez is not here to defend himself, but when both you and he attended at the Finance Committee, you had an opportunity, much like you did today, to provide an opening statement. And on Mr. Benita's behalf, the president then of your company, he opens up with this particular line. On behalf of everyone at GoFundMe, we want to acknowledge the impact of the so-called Freedom Convoy on the citizens of Canada, in particular the residents of Ottawa. Do you agree with me that that is a form of bias? Uh, thank you for the question. Um, that was the name of this campaign, and I believe that's all that he was trying to convey. Well, perhaps we'll agree to disagree. He could have easily said the impact of the Freedom Convoy, because that's exactly what it was called. The information that Tamara Leach uh, initially presented to you was not labeled the so-called Freedom Convoy. That is an opinion that the president of GoFundMe, which is supposed to be neutral, and not to be aligned with any political ideology, uh, that's what he said at committee. So do you disagree with me that that's a form of bias? I Thank you for the question. I understand your point. Understand or agree? And it was, it was, it was not, it, it was not intentional. All right. All. Okay. I want to move on now because some of my colleagues have asked you specifically about timeline and I've got several questions regarding timeline. Um, from all intents and purposes, the moment you receive the request for crowdfunding from Tamara Leach and your review, not you personally, but your team and the trust and safety team that works with you, there was nothing untowards with respect to the description of the Freedom Convoy. Is that correct? Thank you for the question. Yes, that is correct. Nothing in the, uh, and I haven't seen the actual wording, but I'm just basing it off of a uh, narrative that I read uh, attributable to this. There was nothing within that description that promoted either implicitly or explicitly the use of harassment or violence, correct? That is correct. And that is why um, your company saw no reason to deny the opportunity for Tamara Leach and her partners to fundraise on your platform, correct? That is correct. When this campaign was created, it was within our terms of service. Right. 
and I'm looking at your terms of service, and under prohibited conduct, I don't have a page reference, but uh, it talks about uh, paragraph A sub 8. Paragraph A indicates not to use the services to raise funds or establish or contribute to any fundraiser with the implicit or explicit purpose of promoting or involving, and under sub 8, user content that reflects, incites, or promotes behavior that we deem in our sole discretion to be an abuse of power or in support of terrorism, hate, violence, harassment, bullying, discrimination, Mr. terrorist Brock, financing. I, I, I've given you a lot of runway there, sir. And um, I'll part pick of the up where I left off. Yes, Thank you'll, you. you'll have the time. Part of the challenge of reading things into the record is it yes. takes up the time of the intervention. We'll now turn to Mr.